previously on 3D Adventures. That's my next boat. Woohoo! Carolina, what a nice place. Stayed here at Homer Smith's Marina. Real nice people. And at Cousins B and B. Martha gave me a hug goodbye. Couldn't have been a nicer place. And Elmo cooked an incredible breakfast with grits included. Haven't had grits in years. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do 130 plus today. Kind of feeling a little sore after yesterday, not the last week, but um, maybe 95 miles to um, Southport. That's what I'm initially looking at. I'm gonna go outside the, um, sorry, I'm doing a little navigation here. <laughs> I'm gonna go outside the, uh, um, intercoastal today go outside it's a nice north wind I think it's gonna be nice there's a few places to tuck in if it gets nasty so I don't think it's gonna be nasty but so uh, yeah that's my plan and um, I had a nice night last night I had a four dollar cheeseburger at a pool hall and See how it goes. Thanks for coming along. I don't think I've seen this bridge close. I wonder uh, if it's not working since the hurricane. I heard some stories on them taking the engines out of these things to protect them and whatnot. But I wonder why that street was so quiet. I was walking down to my bed and breakfast. <laughs> this could be the reason. to that one I'm sure I just filled up all my tanks so I got 22 in the main tank a 5 and an 8 so that should give me plenty of distance I don't want to have to worry about fuel again <laughs> yesterday was kind of hard because of that more shrimp and boats While I leave Beaufort, I want to give a little shout out to a couple of friends. Tim, I'm telling you that jacket, I don't want to say saved my life because, you know, I was close enough to shore where I could have <laughs> beached the boat, but it was uh, instrumental in keeping me warm out there. I had my jacket on that I was going to wear, which is probably this light one, and then that one over it just to keep me warm so that was awesome and then my friend Carl master electrician Carl Gross CNG electric man he rewired the bow and I'm telling you that battery I, I don't know if that that line definitely wouldn't have made it that he replaced and uh, I'm just very appreciative and to everybody that's uh, helped out made good nice comments and uh, been supporting me so Anyway, I didn't want to not do that, and I'm in like a little no wake zone, so I thought I would. Peace! So the direct route, like the straight line to Southport, which put me about 22 miles offshore, which is, I don't really want to do. So I'm going to go along the shoreline, it's going to make it a bit longer, but it'll be a bit safer, I think. So, nice little beach line here, coming out of Bofor. That's what I got ahead of me. Sorry about the wind. Can't figure out how to do that. I'm just going to do a quick circle for the fun of it. Fishing at all. 
license in every town, every uh, state. out here now. I'll take it. Nice smooth sailing today. So far so good. I think I've, uh, I've done 42 miles. into the uh, intracoastal waterway. Started to get a little rough. Just didn't feel like getting beat up. I'm all tucked in in this nice marina, St. James Marina. I've got a little room behind one of these condos, not, not one of these condos. They call it a lockout. And I'll be here for a couple of days because there's some weather coming. And there's a 
shitload of gas in the water. But it was here when I pulled in, so it wasn't me. Not sure I'm doing video tonight, but we'll see. Hope everyone has a nice weekend.